Next, why don't we go ahead and create our service model. So we can go down here, generate our model for a service, and it is going to reference a church. It's going to have a day of week. It's going to have a start time, which is a time object and a finish time, which is also a time object and a location. And it becomes really easy to, to do these generations once you've, you've laid them out in your ERD. Now, some people with the agile development might not go to all this planning. They'll start and say, I know I need at least this and do that. And then migrations can help you update as they go. But since we tried to think at least ahead of what well, we know we need, maybe we'll still need to update our model, but at least we have a, a good start for it. And I'm just gonna, since it's so quick, add these, these other two models in as well. So let's do rides next. So we're gonna rails generate model ride. And our ride, it references both the uh, service and the, the user. So it has a user reference and a service reference. Then we have the, the date of the ride and we have our leave time and return time. We have number of seats and seats available. And seats available. And then finally, we have our meeting location and our vehicle. And that is probably our most complicated model, but it's still really easy to do. And uh, because I don't like the extra testing that's generated, it's really easy to delete what we just did and put that extra command line parameter on there to not generate that R spec model. We'll, we'll do that on our own. And then finally, we're going to generate our user rides model. So that's quite easy. User ride. And it references both the user and the ride. And that's all it does. And now we've generated all of our new models. Oh, again, forgot that parameter. It's real easy for me to do. In the next video then, what we're going to do is actually update the user model to reflect the new in attributes that we did in our ERD. And so here we go. We've got all of our models created.